Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video I continue to test the Mini-Q, which didn't quite successfully land on Mars last time, and it was mainly because of drag issues. It didn't really have much drag. What I've done is I've decided to remove the body lift. Basically I was using the default uh, module lifting surface to give the body some lift. I've removed that lifting surface in the hope that it will now get the proper amount of drag, but it might be that the complex collider configuration of the body is confusing far, I'm not sure. Uh, I might want to test this in 1.8.1 to see how it works there, because uh, it didn't, uh, these sorts of things did not have trouble in 1.8.1, but I'm not sure if it has trouble in 1.12. But there was another problem where we had control surface issues. We weren't really seeing the control surfaces actuate at all in order to control pitch. And there's the normal actuation, but there's this new dynamic deflection thing that I don't understand and don't, I haven't seen that ever before. Uh, so that's peculiar. The fact that this says stock lifting area zero and mid -court, court sweep is zero is also peculiar. Mass is zero is also peculiar since this says current wing mass. So it's a whole bunch of contradictory things that I wish I had the old version now. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 they, they've put little handles on it when, when you want to tweak things, uh, which is fancy and sort of reminds me of Balsa model flight sim, but um, I didn't need that anyway and I, I want the old one back. <laughs> so uh, maybe it's me being a curmudgeon, but uh, uh, yeah, so... Can I get rid of those? Okay. Uh, so, yeah. I'm not too sure if those actuate at all or do anything. But I've moved the center of mass and center of lift with respect to each other so they're like this. In theory, since, you know, it likes to orient with the center of mass in front of the center of lift, that means that we're going to have a natural angle that goes like that, right? Because if you take a look, uh, the line through these two will be perpendicular to our orientation, basically our belly. So, yeah, I'm hoping that that's how it works out, and I'm hoping that removing the default module lifting sur surface on the body will solve our drag issues, and it'll actually get the drag that it's supposed to, because it sure wasn't getting drag previously. So, I am going to once again cheat into orbit around Mars and see if that works. If it does work, then we'll move on to the next thing, which is putting it on the launcher and making sure it can get over to Mars properly, on a minimal launcher. We'll figure out what the least uh, complicated launcher that can launch this would be. But first, let's do the initial test to make sure that it actually works. I mean, at least for the landing part. I'm contemplating actually fitting the engines, instead of having a rotating nozzle thing uh, and having all this complexity, uh, just fitting the uh, nozzles into the body directly and having somewhat larger, more efficient engines. These only get uh, I think it's 350-something seconds ISP. We can do better than that if we just fit them inside. Uh, so it's all, they're limited because they have the rotating nozzles. Anyway, okay, well, it says fuel is settled. And vapor and feed lines again. Well, that's another thing I don't understand, but uh, last time we were able to work with it, so we'll just proceed for now. And just for reference, there's only 28 tons. I've put a lot more on a heat shield of smaller size when going into Mars's atmosphere. This is a pretty big sized surface and should be able to get plenty of drag. Again, this is only half full. That would be the most that we would be trying to come down with. Let me just try and hand actuate. Yeah, I mean, let me see. I can try to roll, but those those surfaces are not doing anything. Um, let me try to activate this dynamic deflection and see if that helps. Nope, they're still not doing anything. Uh, yeah, I don't think they do anything. It's, you know, all the fancy features aren't worth anything if they aren't actually going to turn. Uh, 
I'll just leave the dynamic deflection on and see if it does anything in the atmosphere. Somebody said I had named this after a Pokemon, and I didn't realize there was a Pokemon named Mini-Q. But, though it's not surprising, Q can, uh, in this case, means 9, but uh, in general it could also mean a ball. So, uh, that is... I can see how that could be a Pokemon, but I, I didn't hear of one like that. But, a uh, naming convention of Pokemon could work, but I feel like somebody else has already done that. Uh, I feel like that's almost certainly something somebody else has used, naming spaceships after Pokemon. But if not, uh, <laughs> I am open to that possibility. Well, at least we are slowing down. But I feel like we can probably give it some help with the engines. And we should see how it's controlling with those. Using half of our pitch there. Of course, that's not a surprise. As I said, uh, our natural alignment would be at an angle. You'll know that I left off the canards. Right now, our suicide pern countdown is negative, which is not good, but in theory, that should be helped out by the drag from the atmosphere. Eventually. At some point. Well, let's see. It can't control itself, but should go into that sort of posture. But that's a lifting posture though, so not the best for slowing down. Oh. Oh, uh, the fuel is unsettled. Oh, great. No, I don't think we're getting more drag. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get this to be convinced that we're gonna get more drag. And now the fuel is unsettled, so I can't turn on the engines. I should've just left them on. Well, this doesn't work at all. So, I'm gonna go with the opposite theory. I'm gonna add a lot more module lifting surface to the body and see if that helps. It's not like what Far would like. I mean, because I'm using the stock lifting module, but I don't know if Far does body lift. Unless it decides to start flying. I mean, our vertical speed is going up, but we can't light the engines. If we could light the engines, we'd be in still a bad shape, but... Uh, it's skimming here. And... smack. Well, at least it gets destroyed properly. Well, restoring body lift to the body uh, gives us this sort of situation, which... Well, I mean, it pretty definitively should be pointing with the belly down when it's like this. Uh, though, I feel like these things aren't getting a whole lot of lift like that because, um, technically, shouldn't the wings pull it back a bit? Oh, I guess they are, huh? Interesting. Okay, well, it just so happened to be stacked the way it was there. Alright. Uh, I don't know how good that is for getting back up. But that's how it is going down. Actually, uh, orientation... Well, now it's saying something completely different. Maybe I was misreading the situation. Look at that. Um, I mean, I guess this is the airflow in the SPH, so... I guess it's like this now? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me either. So... Maybe we shouldn't pay any attention to it. Okay, well, let's try it again and see if adding more module lifting surface effectiveness to the body will give us the drag that we need. Because the main thing is we're not getting enough drag. So, first things... Oh god, that looks horrible. Uh, this has to do with repaint, it looks like. That, that sounds like... That sounds like something to do with B9 procedural wings. I, I, maybe I should try the old version <laughs> in here. I've also taken the liberty of removing the ullage check from the engines. I had enough of that. <laughs> so they no longer check for the ullage. We'll just assume that that works. Um, it still says a reference area of only 15 meters squared, pretty much no matter what I do. That's probably larger than the wing area, I mean, assuming that I was just measuring the wings. 
that. Yep, well, it's sort of going backwards now. Okay, well, I have decided to try it out in KSP 1.8.1 and see if there's any difference at all. And, well, we have the same sort of orientation with respect to the center mass and center lift here. And in fact, if when I tilt it like this, it does the same sort of deal like that. So, and looking at it, uh, that does sort of imply that it's going to sort of tilt like that, which is what we saw in the last test. So, yeah, <laughs> that, uh, that, that seems to be where we're going here. But uh, I'm most, mostly interested in what kind of drag it gets for this test and whether that's different from what it was in 1.12. Otherwise, things are the same. I had to replace the infernal robotics things because for some reason they've changed the names of the parts so I had to go to a different version and maybe just maybe our control surfaces will actually actuate here we'll find out so yeah I'm I'm still in a puzzle as far as the drag is concerned but we'll see if it's different here okay well it's using a lot of pitch actuation we are slowing down though see now this is more of what I would expect well, now now we're going a little bit weird, but I'm not even using the engines right now. But we're slowing down a fair deal, and we're still 50 kilometers above the surface. Whatever is going on in 1.12, I don't understand. I mean, this is a big surface, and it's not that heavy. I mean, it can be filled up with more fuel. I mean, most of the cargo bay is generally hollow, right? I mean, if we filled it up with fuel, then I could understand it not getting a whole lot of drag, but because then the ballistic coefficient would be bad, but here it's... well, our orientation is not great right now, but anyway, we can sort of use some engines here now. Now that actually pushes us into the ground because of our orientation. I wonder if I can rotate these a little bit. Um, I mean, it's not like they're controlling our orientation much. Uh, well, actually... could sort of help out. But anyway, at least they're pointing us in the right direction now. Well, yeah, we never even got to these kinds of speeds before. Uh, I don't know if we'll, we're gonna have enough time. Uh, I doubt it. We're gonna end up uh, landing on our tail. Uh, yeah, it's not quite good enough. Whoa! Well, it's a Kerbal Special here. Here we go. Litho breaking. Ah, oh, oh. No, we, we, we ablated something. I think a fin. Nope, not a fin. Something got ablated. Saw a poof. I don't know what it was. Oh, gosh. Oh. Well, th things have broken. But, again, we didn't even get to this part last time. <laughs> hmm. I don't know why the radiator actually poked up. Is it unautomated? Well... We certainly lost the skis. Oh, 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 break dancing, break dancing. I'm not saying that the physics is better in 1.8.1, mind you, but the aerodynamics at least make some sense based on what one would calculate for the ballistic coefficient of this thing. Um, the physics, let me just stop that. I don't know. The physics in 1.8.1. The funny thing is, is that I had a similar thing happen in a recent solar system tourism, I think. Where we got, we had a 
it, it, it ends up being like a top. I mean, tops happen. They just happen a lot more in Kerbal than they ought to. I feel like doing some gravity adjustment might work here. We're gonna cheat to stop this. I mean, we broke a few things, but it... Oh. Okay, 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 come on. But it's for the greater good. Oh gosh. It's still rotating. Well, with double earth gravity, it's not rotating. Oh, I feel like persistent rotation is maybe going too far here. <laughs> um, uh, hold on. Let me time warp. Okay, now it shouldn't rotate anymore. Well, there goes that theory. I don't understand it. Um, I don't know if we could drill. <laughs> Start surface harvester. We're on the surface. We have one solar panel. No, we should extend that though. Oh, it broke. It broke. Okay, fine. We we have a large fuel cell. We're getting ore. And we, we can convert it to methane. Well, we converted a tiny little bit to methane. But okay, well, um, hmm. <laughs> either either the thing can't slow down and therefore crashes into the surface, or it can slow down but does this when it gets to the surface. Okay, well, I've adjusted the center of lift a bit. I basically just moved it two meters back. It's a little bit complicated though, uh, so you might recall that it was lined up with the center of mass before, and it's sort of looking like that now. But it very much depends on exactly where we're at. And like it sort of jumps out right there. So that's probably a neutral point. And hopefully we'll be oriented like that. But then it sort of goes weird after that, of course. Uh, the center of lift being in front of the center mass would not be a good thing. So we will see if that improves our situation. That's... Uh, one change I made and the other is to increase the body lift uh, by a little bit only. It was at 12, now it's at 16, which is still uh, very much less than what I could put on if we were pretending that this was actually a wing piece. Uh, it's nowhere near that kind of thing. But, I mean, it should get some and hopefully that'll improve the drag a little bit, but we will see. So, one more try, one more try. I mean, we didn't do too badly last time, did we? Uh, well... What can I say? <laughs> let's let's see how it works. Again, this is in 1.8.1 now because, well, it seems to work better here. That's fishy. It's the same version of FAR, I have to uh, re-emphasize. Same version of FAR, and as far as I know, the stock aerodynamics had not been changed. So something else, I'm looking at you, Realism Overhaul, is doing something weird. Oh, that was just automatically popping up. Let's not do that. If somebody knows why the aerodynamics are so different, and if I can delete that file, that would be wonderful. Okay, I mean we had the issue of the shuttle having completely different aerodynamics too, but it had more drag. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's all very confusing. Really, I might have to reconsider whether we even need heat tiles if we're just coming in from low Mars orbit. Though, it's possible it might need to initially capture into Mars orbit, so in that case they'll be experiencing higher speeds. Gotta say, even now, for reasons I don't understand, the control surfaces don't seem to be doing a whole lot, do they? I mean, we see pitch actuation there, but something seems to inhibit those control surfaces from doing stuff. 
even in this version. Oh, it's going the other way. Well, so much for the neutral position. It's not as bad as before, but it's still bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna sort of angle these a bit. And we'll use them ahead of time. Oh, it's getting wobbly. Uh, let me take it out of Fizz Warp. Oh boy, that's too much. Okay, I, I went too far. Okay, well. Oh, I messed it up. I don't know, maybe I can roll it. I'm manually rolling it right now. I got the feeling that Smarty SS didn't know what to do with it. Yeah, the little wing pieces just don't want to actuate. Like these control surfaces. I mean, they're set to do pitch and yaw. Oh, oh, no, this is not turning in the way that I want it to. Well, I guess that's not too bad. Well, temporarily. We've got a lot of horizontal speed left to be tilted like this. I don't know, I feel like it... Yeah, well. Well, a vertical speed is not too bad. <laughs> our our horizontal speed is worse. Maybe I should manually control it here. I don't feel like Smart ESS is giving me its best. Oh, um, actually, let's hold off. I think this is a situation where we need a suicide burn. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, what can I say? We made it. It's zero now. It's not doing some weird flippy thing. But was that the way I wanted to come in? No. N no cheat was particularly involved. So let let's just see about drilling and everything. We've got all our solar panels, you know. These things might even extend as robotics ought to. Look at that. Robotics working for once. I don't know if these solar panels are gonna have trouble with the ground. We've got our skis this time. Electric charge is balanced, at least with the two harvesters active. There's also the ISRU unit, which takes a lot of power. Well, that that's, that's, was a long time already. We did not get much aura of that, did we? That must be a bad location, probably. And of course we, we're not going to have enough power now. We can use the fuel cell. But we've already lost most of... Oh, we've we've lost all of the liquid oxygen and we don't have much liquid hydrogen either. So... So much for the... I should have had the radiator out, that's why. We have no electric charge to command the radiator. Okay, now we do. Let's get the radiator out. Oh, cannot deploy while stowed. Of course, we, we're having a combination of all our problems. <laughs> okay, um, well, start methane, start oxygen, and let's see how the, uh, electric charge is still balanced like that. Okay. I thought we might not be able to run everything in parallel. Oh, the drills might be not working, though. Start Super Summerster. Okay, but we can run everything in parallel, perhaps. At least during the day. But it's still actually consuming liquid oxygen and it's not producing any methane. Um, well, that's probably the fuel cell. Let me stop that fuel cell. 
Well, we're we're getting some ox. We got some oxygen, but now everything's overheating. <laughs> oh boy! All right. Well, it's just a bundle of problems, really. Darn it! It ought to work. It ought to work. But I'm being sabotaged. Now we're getting ore, but we're not converting it. I tell it to just uh, produce the methane. It doesn't seem to be producing any methane at all. I guess, I mean, if it says boil off loss 250 per hour, 250 kilograms per hour, we're never going to get anything, are we? Well, maybe if we had the radiator out and it could deploy while stowed. I know I could go to the tracking station and come back to it and fix it. But anyway, more work needs to be done here, clearly. This is definitely not the final form of the mini Q. So anyway, I'll wrap it up here. We we got somewhere with it, but it's not exactly where I wanted it to be. And I have no idea about what KSP 1.12 is doing with it. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.